Great, so now I have that part of my drum set notated. One problem I'm sure you've noticed though is this doesn't follow the percussion key that we looked at in the previous video. As you can see here, we said that the hi-hat should be on this E, but see, the hi-hat that Finale has by default is this G. We also said that the ride symbol should be on this G, but the ride symbol is not this particular note. So we need to change this is the point I'm getting at here. So how do we change it? Well, we go to the window to score manager, then we make sure that we're selected on our drum set here. So I'm selected on the drum set. Now what I'm going to do is where it says notation style and percussion, right to the right of that, I'm going to click settings. It should automatically have the percussion layout selection on drum set. I will then hit edit and that brings up the percussion layout designer. That is a very helpful tool and something we're going to learn more about right now. So what we want to do here is go to where it says hi-hat closed. There's a staff position of 11. What that means is that these X note heads are put on this G. If I were to lower this to 10, it would be on the F below. You can see that it updated when I clicked in this box. So if I write a staff position number here, it's not going to update until I click in another box. So we actually want staff position nine for our hi-hat. This is our E, right? So we're gonna do the same thing for the closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat. For the open hi-hat, we will also change the staff position to nine. And I'll click here just so that you can see it updating. Now, we need to update the ride symbol as well. So I'm going to click on my ride symbol and I'm going to change this staff position from 10 to 11. I want to do the same thing for the bell of the ride symbol. Change this from 10 to 11. Now, before moving on, Notice that the bell of the ride symbol has X note heads. This also does not follow our key. We want the bell of the ride symbol to have a diamond note head. So how do we do that? Well, right here it says closed note head. If I hit select, I can now choose a different note head for any value that is a quarter note or below in terms of subdivisions. So I'm going to click here on 51, which is a diamond note head. I could also just type the number three in here conveniently. For the half note note head, I'm going to choose 35. This is a diamond head note head, but it's not filled in. I could also just put the hashtag symbol or the pound key. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the whole note. And now what you can see is the bell of the ride symbol will be properly notated with a diamond note head. Now I'll click OK, and I'll click Select, and I will close out of my score manager, and we can see that the hi-hat has updated here. Don't miss the next video where we will further our discussion on enclosures specifically for drum set.